So Michael, what's the uh, topic of our discussion for today? Yeah, I think he's recorded. I think he's put it already on. So what's the, uh, what would you like, like uh, to discuss today? Uh, well, well, the, I mean, it doesn't have to be one way, but so, so if you want to ask me something relating to the subject, then we, we can oh, yeah, have yeah, a backup. But, but, yeah. but you, you, kind of, you kind of wanted to talk to me, so I take it you have got a subject you want to talk to me about. Yeah. So let's start with that and then yeah. we'll see uh, where it goes, inshallah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, so what it is, is um, you know you have the, you know have the hadiths, and of yeah. course you've got the, you've got the six canonical ones, and then you've got the other ones as well, which aren't as canonical. Well, 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 uh, we don't call them the uh, canonicals, as you well, know, as you right. know. But, be, but they are the because they are the early ones. Uh -huh. So kind of that. But even even uh, you know, for, for for us, any book of hadith which has got authentic hadith mm -hmm. is accepted, right. even though if it's not from the six. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So, Right, so, so when it comes to, you know when it comes to the grading, you've got the grading system of yeah. the, you know, aside from Sahih, Hassan. Mutawakir, Sahih, Al Hassan, Sahih, Al Ghayri, Al Hassan, Al Hassan, Al Ghayri, Al Daif, Al Munkar, Al Mawdu'i, all of this, yeah. Right, so who decided on that system? Because I presume it definitely wasn't Allah and it wasn't your prophet. Well, it was the Prophet actually. Funny that you say that. Okay. It was the Prophet. Huh? It was actually the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who started it. Right. Okay. Okay. There is a hadith mm -hmm. where the where uh, Abdullah Abdullah ibn Umar he saw a dream. Mm -hmm. He saw a dream, and he he saw a dream that he was in the hellfire. Right. And he wanted to speak to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but he couldn't. So he went to his sister. Safiya, uh, uh, no, he went to his sister Hafsa, mm. who was the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he asked her about the dream. So she asked, she asked, that she inquired from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The answer of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was, "نعم العبد عبد الله لو لو صلى الليل." What a good man is Abdullah if only he uh, he uh, prayed at night. Right. Then when she told him about the, uh, she told him the explanation of the dream, he, uh, meaning Abdullah ibn Umar, he never stopped praying at night. Now, the scholars, the, the exegetes of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the hadith, what they would do, they will go to that appraisal that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam appraised Abdullah ibn Umar, Ni'm al Abdu Abdullah. Okay. So that's the, that's the kind of definition they will follow in, in the, the, the people of Hadith. So they will say, for example, he is in the Senate, in the uh, chain of uh, transmission, right. and I oh, and know that he is a good man, he prays and that. So that is, we praise him, then another one will praise another one, another one will praise another one. So that's how we, we go. So this is, this is, it was done by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Also we have that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a hadith which is in Sahih Muslim and Al-Bukhari is called Hadith of Jassasa, the one that speaks about the Antichrist at the end of uh, that hadith is the, uh, uh, normally the Sahaba, they report from, on behalf of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from the Prophet, but that hadith, Al-Jassasa, it is actually the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reporting from a Sahabi who used to be a Christian and he embraced Islam, it's called Abu Tamim al hmm. So. Then we have the Prophet وسلم, is a trustworthy person narrating on behalf of a trustworthy person, which is a Sahabi. And so this this kind of uh, this kind of transmission, uh, uh, the, 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 the transmission of the Hadith was since the Prophet oh, but, So it's but, something that, uh, that that's but, not like new and that you have to be appraised. In order to be, that's how we know the people. You, you, you understand. So what we're describing is the um, transmission. Yeah. But but what? what that's what. That what was your question? Well, you, you, no. But what I was after was the you know the actual grading scheme. So someone has to de well, you decide. You wanted the grading, yeah. Yeah. Someone it's, has to has to decide. Yeah. What? But that's actually that's because of the transmission. Okay. So but then so. Someone would then have to say that, okay, when somebody's Sahih, it's because they, they have to say that it's a chain and that the people in the chain have to be at a certain level. Yes. So, so then at some point in history, 
some group had to sit down and actually make that decision. That no, no, because the reason why, because the reason why, okay. we have got him as uh, a companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So this companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam narrates, heard the Prophet saying a saying. Yeah. yeah. Then he narrates it to other people. So the people that come after the companions are tabi'een. Okay, the followers of the companions. Mm. So I'm from the tabi'een. Then my students are tabi'een, tabi'een, and so on in the chain of narration. Yeah, it goes down, it goes down until it reaches me. Right. And it's the same way in the Quran. For example, the Quran, I, I learned the Quran, all of it. Mm. I learned it by Hafs, for example. Yeah. Okay, mm. so I can, my sheikh, the one that gave me the uh, the uh, the tzkia, the one that gave me the certificate, mm. he has learned from his sheikh, his sheikh has learned from his sheikh, until it goes back to Ali and Uthman, uh, to, uh, to Ubay ibn Ka'b, Ali ibn Abi Talib, Uthman ibn Affan, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So all this chain is going, and that's what we do. Now let me tell you another thing. Uh, for example, we have a hadith, let's say by Ibn Abbas radiallahu mm. Now we know that the students of Ibn Abbas, one of them is Ikrimah. Mm. And we know the students of Ibn Ikrimah, one of them is, for example, uh, Abdullah al-Sulami. Yeah? Mm. And we know the, te- the students of Abdullah al-Sulami, for example, Ahmed al-Kufi. Yeah? Now, comes, comes someone and tells us the hadith like this. He says, عن, عن فلان, عن فلان, عن الكوفي, mm. How many did he jump? Um, he jumped two. Right. Two narrators. Two narrators. So he jumped Ikrima, mm. who is the student, and he jumped Abdullah Sulami, who is the student of Ikrima. Now he has dropped two. So this hadith, I will call it Munqat al Sanad. It, there is a cut, a drop in the sanad. So I'm not going to take this hadith as to be a sahih hadith. Right. Because so, I don't know, I am not sure. I, I am absolutely sure, definite, that the Ahmed al-Kufi did not hear directly from, from, uh, from uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas. Yeah, because the time is too far. Time is too far, but right. not only that, not mm. only that, not only that. He did not mention any of the others. Now, if he would have forgotten the names, who can, who can tell me that he did not forget the context of the hadith, mm. the actual hadith itself, that he didn't drop things or other things or that. So he has to go to the chain of narration, to, the, to, to it. So mm. if someone dropped, that hadith would be munqata' and al-munqata' is it classes as da'if, as we. All right, but, but then that's, that's what I'm trying to say. So what you just said there, someone still had to make that decision. Yeah, the, the, you, scholars, you, the scholars of the science of hadith. All right, so, so, so these scholars of the, of the science of hadith, well, when did that actually start officially, where, what, where the scholars came together and actually agreed that uh, the ratings were, you put a rating or something based on like, this criteria, like if there's a gap or if this yeah. person's unreliable. So you should have a way to specifically determine the grading of a hadith according yeah. to certain rules. Yeah. But then those rules, some scholars had to sit down and actually make, come up with those rules. These rules, as I said to you, mm. they, are, they are from, from when the Prophet ﷺ was, was, was alive. For example, this, for example, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you an example. I'll tell mm. you an example. Mm. A hadith for us, like let's say the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sitting down yeah. and he was speaking. Mm. So he's, he taught something about Salah. Mm. Okay? So there was 10 Sahabas in there, 10 companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All of them, they heard the Hadith. Yeah. But then you know, after the death of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the expansion of the, 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 the Islam and that, Sahaba went to different places. Mm. Now, we know that from an early day that this hadith, for example, is reported by Abu Huraira. Yeah. Another one would be uh, Ubay ibn Ka'ab. Mm. Another one would be Ali. Another one would be Al-Hasan. Another one, so on and so on. So mm. the 10 Sahaba it will be. So I, I have learned, I am a tabi'i. Mm. And I have learned from Abu Huraira. Okay? 
another one would have learned from Al Hassan. Yeah. So we'll have the same hadith, mm. the same hadith, but from different roots. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. These different roots, it tells us exactly that that hadith is an authentic hadith because it came from different chains of narration. And just allow me, please, to finish. It came from different, uh, uh, the different uh, chains of narrations, mm. and the text is the same text. And the plus, we can, we can, what we call, which is in our, uh, in our tradition, is called Ilm al-Rijal. Mm. Ilm al-Rijal is the science of the uh, authors of hadith, the narrators. Yeah. So we study them biographically, and we know who they are, even who what they are. And, that. and let me just tell you one thing. Actually, lately, lately, there was a program that someone has made up of, uh, of uh, 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 software, uh, software mm. that they uh, they have. Did, are you listening? This is important. That they have put all ma ma all the major books of hadith in them. Right. And it has calculated, and then they input all the data regarding the uh, the chain of narration. And it came out. It came out with the, with a, a high evaluation of um, I think 88 percent. The 12 percent it was the repetition of certain hadith or similarity in the names. You know, for example, you say. Uh, uh, for example, you would have heard uh, Sufyan. We have got Sufyan Thawri and we have got Sufyan uh, Sufyan Nuriyina. So who is who? Uh, uh, sorry, you are blocking the camera. So stand over there. Please. So Sufyan Nuriyina. So now, now when we hear hadith, the one that has transmitted the hadith, if he just mentions Sufyan, his teacher, his teacher, brother, brother, come this side next to me, please. The brother, brother, come near me, please, this side. Nobody's gonna disturb you, this side. It's and now because of the camera. Sorry, brother, yeah? Just stand next to me, just stand next to me. So, like, Sufyan, is it Sufyan Nuriyina or Sufyan Thawri? Yeah? So his teachers, his students, they will be able to tell us. Mm. So then we now, no, no, they, it's for da'wah, brother. So they, they do it. So, so they, they kind of, they kind of, they kind of tell, tell, tell us. So this program I've told you about, 88%, the 12%, either because it was of the, um, the similarities in names, or repetitions of hadith. So alhamdulillah, when it comes to the uh, science of uh, narration and of isnad, mm. and we have got a high, and actually we are the only ones, the only ones in the entire world that we have got this tradition. That's how the hadith was kept, was kept. That's why the grading of the hadith came about, so that we know the Sahih from Al Hassan, from Al Daif, from Al Munkar, from uh, from Al Mawdu', from Al Munqati', from any kind of hadith. We know, and as you see, as you see, there are some hadith that even the polemicists, the Christian polemicists, they try to uh, the apologists and polemicists, they try to hit us with. But guess what? We don't shy from it. Why? Because if a hadith is from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it is from the Prophet. For example, let me give you an example. For example, the example of the hadith of the Baba, the the hadith of the fly, the, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And it's in the Sahih hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, if a fly, if a fly lands on one of your drinks, dip it inside. For in one of its wings there is there is um, uh, germs, and in the other there is the antidote to that germ. Mm. Now we we could have said, oh, this is mawdu, this is uh, mawdu, look. Yeah like uh, shine, shine away from it. But we don't do that. The reason why we will never lie about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It doesn't matter what the hadith is like. If the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says it, and it is through a good uh, uh, transmission of the Sanad, we accept it. Even as I said, even if it makes us look not good, we'll accept it. Yeah, because um, I think all, all of what you've said, and um, you, you know, you explained about how good things are now in, in terms of your documentation. And of course, you've got scholars all around the world who like, study these things. Um, but uh, the example I'm going to use is like the Catholic Church. What it is, is that since about, even though I don't support them, but, but the example I'm looking for in Islam is similar to uh, when I look at the history of the Catholic Church. Because basically, you know, obviously Muslims uh, they hear about the 
Council of Nicaea, because uh-huh. the you know, Muslims uh, mention that a lot. Uh, ecumenicals, yeah, the ecumenicals, yeah. not but, just the Nicaean. There are well, yeah, yeah, plenty yeah, of them, yeah. yeah. The, but, first but, one, the first one in the 4th century, yeah. 325, because of Constantine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the point I'm trying to make is that when you look at these councils, they actually have the minutes of those meetings. I mean, not necessarily every single word that was spoken, mm-hmm. but they could tell you the people who were there, mm-hmm. or mostly who was mm-hmm. there, uh, what was spoken at the meeting, like, uh-huh. like the subjects, etc. And uh, every, each of these councils, you can go and look up the minutes where it'll tell you what they were talking about. So what I'm after is, in Islam, do you have a similar thing where since, say, the time of, let's say, the, you know, the, four, the four schools, you know, um, uh, well, Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi and, and Hanbali, do you have minutes of any meetings that any of these scholars have had or any groups of scholars since that time? Well, now that you say, I would like to know what is this document that you're speaking about. What's that? The document, the minutes, I would like to know where are they? Oh, I'm not saying that they necessarily got no, the no, original... No, 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 you know what you say, you made the claim that yeah. they exist. Now, my, my, no, no, so uh, tell me, tell me they are in the library, uh, the, the Vatican no. library, tell me where they are. You're making a claim that you have yeah. got nothing to support it with. Yes, but that's uh, the claim. Oh, no, come on, Michael, I need you to be on, no. I need him to be on game with me. Yeah. Don't claim something that you cannot, you cannot justify. Uh, what I but, say, I can justify it. Yes, no, but the claim I'm making, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, the claim I'm making is not that the documents exist. I'm claiming that they say they had these meetings, and they've got the meetings. Well, that's, none to, that's nothing to me. That's, that's so, so you're saying the me. meetings didn't happen? No, I'm not saying. I'm not okay. saying the meeting that didn't happen. Right. I know that the meeting happened historically. Okay. Historically, right. the meeting did happen. That's right. Yeah. And we know this because of some of some writings of uh, Athanasius, some writing of uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Eusebius, because he supported uh, Arius. Yeah, we know this through uh, to Arianism and, uh, yeah. and the, the Church Father. We know that this has happened. Yeah. But not because of the minutes. Not because of the minutes, but because of the writings of some of the church fathers now you what you mentioned you said minutes were taken in that i am i am telling you there were no there are no minutes nowadays that they say they say and and Arius say this, and, and uh, Athanasius say this, yeah, and Eusebius say this. There not, is nothing like that. I know, but that's not what I was specifically saying. I'm saying... You are, that's what you no, what I'm saying, said. No, I'm saying the subjects that were talked of at the meetings, they, they do have a list of the subjects talked about no, at the meetings. This, this list, where, where is it? Again, you're saying it, but you cannot provide me what it is. No, but you can look it up, that's my point. Well, I don't have to look it up. You, you, you made the thing, you have to introduce it. All right. But, but, the point, but the point I'm trying to make, so what I'm trying to find it, is that in Islam, do you have meetings of scholars where they take, not, not necessarily minutes, mm. but where they make a note of the subjects that are discussed? Well, no, we have their books, their writings. We don't make minutes. And we are not like the Catholic Church. You know, there is the head. The, no, no, I, I, let me just, uh, no. we're not like the head of the Catholic ch- uh, Church. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that Clement of Alexandria is the Pope and then we have to follow him and yeah, that's not right. no 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 yeah. allow me to finish Michael yeah, yeah. you ask me a question allow me so yeah. we don't have that and then we sit around the bishops and that and we start writing notes and that we don't mm. do that for example Ilm al-Rijal we have got Yahya ibn Ma'in mm. yeah and Imam Ahmed al Ashaq ibn Rahawi for example these people mm. that they have started Tadween means the um, the subscribing yeah. this kind of ilm uh, rijal mm. so so and so and then we go studying studying the person until we go back yeah. and these are not minutes these are books are are manuscripts mm. that were written and came about and then they were they were passed from from uh, from century to other century to other century to other century and actually what we have reached us is only a few mm. and i'll tell you what because of the burning of the alexandrian uh, 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 bookshop the, the the burning of the baghdad bookshop when the uh, when the, the mongols uh, came the moguls came to baghdad I mean, then li- in spain li- li- yeah, the library, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the Muslim libraries, mm. they were burnt down. So only a few, alhamdulillah, that the, the, uh, the, uh, the Muslims have got a tradition, mm. which is the Christians don't have, which is to learn by heart. So, for example, Imam Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, he learned, uh, he, his, 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 uh, his knowledge of hadith was over 100,000 hadith. 
أورسو إمام البخاري رحمة الله عليه إمام مسلم all our Imam of the Hadith they knew a hundred thousand at least a hundred thousand for him to be to be a muhaddith a scholar of hadith a hundred thousand hadith and guess what not just the the the, the text of the hadith but also the chain of narration yeah. also the chain of narration and again we have got traditions in the chain of narration for example if we look at the first book of hadith I can't go by, by telling you it's Mu'tal Imam Malik. But before Mu'tal Imam Malik, there was one which is which belonged to, uh, I think it was Ja'far ibn... Uh, because there was, there, there was, a, there, there was a skirmishes in the Medina. No, no, قبل قبل مثلاً حنيفة. It was, it was, there was, there was, uh, there was uh, some skirmishes in the Medina, hmm. and many of the books were burned. Right. Hence, the there was a first biog biography of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it was a first book of Hadith too. But, however, because uh, because after the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the uh, Sahaba. There were some tabi'ins, and seven of them were the 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 scholars of Medina. Fuqaha Sab'a lil Medina. The seven scholars. What year? What year? Huh? What year was that? We're talking about uh, 60 Hijri. About 60 Hijri. That means right. that means about uh, uh, 50. Uh, no, about 47 years after uh, the 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 the, the, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam passing away. Right. So 60 Hijri, yeah? So it's about 680, 690? No, no, 60 Hijri, that, that would be uh, 7 in the center. I think it's the 7th, your 7th century, like that. Yeah, 690. Yeah, something yeah, like that, yeah, yeah, yeah give or right. take. Mm. So then, but mm. they were burnt. Right. However, however, we have got Mu'tal Imam Malik. Mu'tal Imam Malik, it took him, who studied on one of the on one of the scholars of uh, the Fuqaha al Madina Sab. And what the Imam Malik it took him 40 years to make. 40 years. Guess why is the delay in making in in, uh, co in, in uh, for, for the compilation of Hadith? Because you have to make sure about the chain of narration. Mm. We have to make sure. Now, Imam Malik, for example, we have got what is called the uh, the golden chain of narration. For example, say, حدثنا عن عن أبي هريرة. عن الزناد عن الأعرج <تصفيق> no, sorry. عن, 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 عن الزناد عن الأعرج عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم so, الزناد was taught by الأعرج الأعرج was taught by أبو هريرة أبو هريرة took it from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم so if you have got this chain of narration it is a golden one it is absolutely so thick that that nothing can break it. Then we have got we have got also, for example, we have got also, for example, Nafi, 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 and Abdullah ibn Umar, on Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So Nafi reports from uh, Umar, uh, uh, Abdullah ibn Umar, from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this also is a strong, uh, strong. We have got in Jafar. عن عائشة أم المؤمنين رضي الله عنها عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. These are all strong chains of narration. Now, when it comes to the to the uh, to uh, to uh, the, the tradition of the Christians, since you mentioned the Ecumenical uh, Council of uh, Nicaea, yeah. you haven't got this. The reason, and I give you the reason why. Would you like to know why? Yeah, because your chains are made up? No, 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 no. I will tell you why. Okay. Because Jesus did not speak Greek. Jesus spoke in Aramaic. What, and what? all your... All, uh, uh, let me, let me, allow me. Yeah, yeah, cool. Jesus spoke in Aramaic. Mm -hmm. And all your Gospels are 400 years later on. The earliest one you have got, the Sinaiic uh, uh, one uh, Codex, yeah. or the Vaticanus one, they are 400 years later. So you cannot come speak about the Islamic tradition in reporting the hadith when there is between Jesus peace be upon him and the earliest manuscripts that you have got mm. 400 years and not only that mm. it is in a language which the author did not speak now you ask any linguistic any 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 historian Anybody you would like to know to, to ask hmm. academia in academia in academia, yeah. he will tell you that there will be corruption in the text. 
Right. This is you cannot say about about the Quran or about the Hadith. Right. So you, you know you mentioned about the well I mentioned them the the four original scholars of the, of the four schools. Do you have any manuscripts of their writings? Well, uh, okay. Manuscripts, yeah, there are some. There are some. For example, Mu'at al Imam Malik, Mu'at al Imam Malik in the Hadith. Yeah. Uh, there is uh, Kitab al Um for Shafi'i, Rahmatullahi Alayhi. Mm -hmm. Abu Hanifa, there is something attributed to him, but I'm, I'm not sure if it is, if it is, if it's him or someone else. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But, but, but the, the, when it comes to us, as you know, it would be regarding fiqh, jurisprudence. So yeah. we, it's easily for, for us to know if it is fiqh according to the Islamic tradition yeah. or it's not. So it's easy for us to know that. To know that. Plus we have the writings of their, their students. For example, Imam, Imam, Imam uh, Abu Hanifa, mm -hmm. he had 32, uh, uh, 32 uh, scholars studying on him. They were all scholars in their own right. That's why, for example, in the Islamic tradition, we call Imam Ahmed, we call him Al-Imam Al-A'zam, Al -Imam, the great Imam, mm -hmm. because all his students were Imams too. Uh, Muhammad Shaybani and, uh, and uh, Abu Yusuf Al-Qadi, the, the judge, they were, these are the, the most kind of uh, prominent of his, uh, of his uh, students. So we know what's the fiqh of uh, uh, Imam Ahmed, uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, we know it. We know what's the, the, the fiqh of Imam Ahmed because we have got, musnad, we have got uh, the musnad, uh, musnad Imam Ahmed in the hadith, which uh, the compilation is over 24,000 hadith. Mm. We have got uh, his uh, son, Abdullah, who has written some books, uh, uh, writing, uh, writing all his all his uh, dad's sayings. Mm. We have got uh, the uh, rasail of uh, the, the, the certain uh, certain things that was agreed on upon between uh, between uh, 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 Imam Ahmed and Ishaq ibn Rahawi. We have got, uh, as I mentioned already, Imam Shafi'i uh, Al Um. We have got the transcripts. We have got the we have got the manuscripts of Imam Ahmed. Uh, no, uh, Imam Al Nawawi, rahmatullahi alayhi, Ibn Hajar, Ibn Hajar Al Asqalani. We have even got before that. We have got the tafsir, tafsir, Al Tabari, Ibn Kathir. All of that we have got. Right. How do you think we got the books nowadays if it wasn't uh, copied from manuscripts? Yeah, but that, that's the thing. So, so when you're saying about the, you know, you mentioned about the Christians and, and that the fact that the Late, early, sorry, the earliest manuscript that we have is the Sanatica. The Sanatica, yeah. Yeah, but then where do you think they got the information to write Sanatica out from? Okay, well, here is a question to you. Yeah. Can you tell me that the writers of the four Gospels, the yeah. New Testament, yeah. is actually John, Luke, and Matthew, and, and, uh, and uh, John? No, it just says according to. According to. Yeah. So this according to, it could be anybody. True yeah. or not? Yeah, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. So how do you want me to accept something with an unknown author and, and through a hadith and the Quran, which is by the chain of narration of people that have been approved by approved, approved on, approved on, approved on. Right. So you know, there is a saying in fact, we say that, yeah. mm. that, that the shadow of a, of a bent branch will never be straight. Yeah, okay. So that's that, That's the difference. Well, so, so the same thing, you know when you give those chains of narration, that's mm -hmm. the hadith. Uh, it, even in the Quran, even in the Quran. So, so this chain of narration for the Quran, no, yeah. uh, where is, is, is that actually written down somewhere? Yes, it is written. For example, for example, if you take any Mus'haf of uh, Al-Madina, Mus'haf mm al-Khatta -hmm. al-Uthmani, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, Mus'haf, this Mus'haf, at the, uh, when you finish, when you finish the Mus'haf, Right at the end, after some of them, what they write, they write the, the kind of uh, the style of the Quran. They speak about Rasm al Uthmani, hmm. the manuscript, how it is, and then the the, oh, the, wuku, the, the, uh, the kind of the, uh, uh, the technicalities of pronunciation, and then it will tell you the, uh, the chain of narration of Abdullah al Sulami, Asim, Abdullah al Sulami, and then Asif. Mm. Abu Nujud al Kofi, and then Hafs. Mm. You see, and then the ones that took it. But as I said to you, all our all our scholars of, of Quran, mm. all the good reciters of Quran, they will have a chain of narration back to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Right, but here's the interesting thing. So this this chain that is is that you can give give for the Quran. 
Uh, it's written down Salam now. Alaikum. I'll talk to you in a bit, inshallah. I'm busy now. I'm busy now. I'll talk to you in a bit. Yeah? Inshallah. Salam alaikum. So, so now you have the list. Yeah. But if you look in one of the any of the older manuscripts, do they have that list written down of the chain of narration? Yeah, that's how we got it. In, in an old manuscript that's, of the Quran? Yeah, that's how we got it. How okay, do you okay. think we got it? Okay, can you give me a name of a manuscript that has that chain in well, it? I, I, look, so, so I can look, it is, look, look, the Vatican have got one. The Vatican, they have got a codex which they don't want to show. No. Okay? No, no, I'm telling you. Okay. You ask me, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. If the Vatican knew that we were lying about them, they would have exposed us. Mm. There is, there is also in uh, one that is uh, found in uh, in Turkey. There is actually now the San, the Sanaa, Sanaa Mushaf. Uh, the, the, there is uh, a Quran mm -hmm. that they found a codex that they found in Sanaa. They the, they call the Sanaa uh, the the, uh, the Sanaa the codex. Pa pa palimpsis. Yeah, the yeah. Pal palimpsis. Mm. Now there are certain variances in there, which is a nothing because like the same word but says, uh, said uh, otherwise or something like that. But that one was fine, isn't it? and that's even, even that is before the, the uh, Mus'haf of Uthman. Mm. Yet, you will find in that. How do you think we know? We know this, which, which recitation is this? Why, for example, I recite, for example, me personally, I recite Warsh and Hafs. Mm. Now, how did, I know, how did I learn Warsh? How do I know well, Warsh is Warsh and Hafs and Hafs? How do I know that Qalun is Qalun? How do I know that, uh, that, that Al Kisai is Al Kisai? Or Hamza is Hamza? How do I know Ibn Kathir is Ibn Kathir? How I know Al Bazi is Al Bazi? Mm. This is, this is, we know it from the transmission, from the transmission of the narrations. As to you, my friend, as I say to you, Michael, with all due respect, you mm. haven't got that. 400 years between, no, 400 years, and remember, it's all in Arabic, by the way, which is the language of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You have got Christ, peace be upon him, mm. yeah, Aramaic. Mm. In Galilee, they spoke Aramaic. In, in, uh, in, in Galilee, they spoke Aramaic, well, well, but in, uh, in Jerusalem, they spoke Hebrew, yeah? So, uh, have you actually looked up the history of what they yeah, spoke in that yeah, region? Yeah, 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 I know, I know. But, but you I know, know Greek was the trade language? No, the, Greek was That's for the elite. Greek is what for the elite. Trade? No, Greek, it was for the elite. You remember, you, you remember that the, uh, the, the Septuagint was done about 270 years before, uh, before Christ? Yeah. BC, yeah? Mm. When, the, when the scholars, when the Hebrew, when the scribes of... Uh, yeah, 70 years. Yeah, they, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. So that was done, where was it done? In Alexandria. Mm. Alexandria, that time, was under... <laughs> you are a ninja, Abdullah, barakallahu mm. feeh. So the the uh, the uh, in Alexandria mm. in Alexandria it was Greek spoke, uh, speak, uh, spoken. Yeah. However, Michael, when you look at it, when you look at it, what you have Greek was the language of the elite. Not everybody knew Greek. Do you know how long it would have taken someone, a layman, to learn only the Greek alphabet? Yeah, only but, the Greek alphabet. Right. But I would like to know your answer if you knew how long it will take a layman like John of Zebedee, for example, who was a fisherman, a mere fisherman from Galilee, how long would it have taken him to learn Greek? I don't know, the Greek was a part of their, uh, of some people's family line because I don't know if you've ever read in the Bible, in Acts 6 it talks about some uh, Grecians who are Greek speaking Jews. So there were actually yeah. people who yeah. since the time of the Greeks, their, their family was taught I know, Greek. I know, I can tell you, Jews. I can give you two. Yeah. Flavius Jove uh, Josephus. Yeah, so... Yeah, so, so, so he's in, he in it. No, but hang on. Yeah. Where was he? Well, Josephus. Yeah, he wasn't in Jerusalem. He was not in Galilee, was he? Yeah, but I'm talking about... He was a historian. No, I'm, told, I'm telling you, I can't tell you even the name of the, the one. He was a philosopher, so he was from the elite. Philo, he was a philosopher, he was from the elite. You, mm -hmm. You're giving me names, you're giving me people who are the elite. I'm talking about the layman, I'm talking yeah. about Simon, I'm talking about James, I'm mm -hmm. talking about um, Tobias, I'm talking about these, the disciples of Jesus, Barnabas. I'm talking about the disciples of Jesus, were they Greek speaking or they Aramaic speaking? We don't know specifically. Well, we but, know, but we know. Kids, but they were. Uh, community of okay. Well, can I just show you something? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so if you look in this, so this is uh, Acts 6. You have to bear right. with me, please. I need to get my because uh, right. I can't see without my glasses. Yeah, but I can tell you one thing which you have to uh, which you already know. What did what did Christ be? Uh, what did the, the one they uh, the, because I don't believe that Christ was put on. Uh, 
but, uh, but, but, uh, but uh, because I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe that Christ, peace be upon him, was put on the on the cross. Yeah. I don't believe that. But whoever was put on the cross, mm. okay, what did he say? Eli, Eli, lima shabaktani. Ilahi, Ilahi, lima taraktani. Yeah. It's, it's the same as in Arabic. Ilahi, Ilahi, lima taraktani. Ilahi, Ilahi, lima shabaktani. Because the Jews, they all, and the Aramaic speaking people, they, they call Eli or Eloi or Elohim or, e, uh, or e, uh, Ilah or Allah or Allah, depending on which uh, Semitic language you speak. So, all of them, they spoke, they, he spoke in Hebrew. Why didn't he speak in Greek if it was the, the predominant uh, language? No, Why didn't he speak in Latin? No, no, but we know he know multiple languages because when he spoke to Paul, he spoke in Hebrew. Yeah, but, but hang on, Hebrew, Hebrew and, uh, Hebrew and, and Aramaic, they are sister languages, do you know that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, all right, so, so this is... So this Acts. is Acts of the Apostles. Yeah, so, so if I turn off the, yeah, yeah, the Strong's sorry. numbers, see it says there... And in those days when the number of the disciples was much uh, there arose a, uh, a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because yeah. their widows were neglected in the daily administration. Yeah. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Yeah, so, so I was going to yeah. stop this. So if I, if I show you the, get the Strong's numbers, see yeah. where it says Grecians, yeah. so if I do the Strong's number yeah, for Grecians, So Grecians, See, Hellen yeah, Hellenistic, uh, Hellenistic, yeah. Yeah, but, Hellenist, but Jews yeah. though, no, it's... Yeah, but I gave Gre you, no, no, I yeah. gave you one thing. Yeah. I did say to you, Flavius Josephus is a historian yeah. and a philosopher. Philo of Alexandria is a philosopher. I have given that, but it's talking about Grecians. Who dear Grecians? Grecians that know, uh, that, that know how to speak, meaning not your layman, not your layman, not the layman. No, 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 these, these are widows, so, so they... So they, they are Hellenistic Jews. They were Hellenistic Jews. Yeah. I'm not denying that. Yeah, but they're, they're not. These aren't from the aristocracy. These are poor people. No, no, no. Hellenistic Jews. They were not living in there. They were in Greece, and then they come like Flavius, like like yeah. like, like Philo. These were not. They was not like from Jerusalem, from Ilia, which is called Jerusalem. It used to be called Ilia. Yeah. Mm. They are not from Ilia. They are not from Galilee. They are yeah. not. Yeah, in Galilee, they, they spoke Aramaic. In, in Judea, in 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 uh, in, uh, in Jerusalem, they spoke. They spoke that. Now, have you got a manuscript? Even look. Even in the uh, is it called the M52 something? That that, that oh, the, piece. The, 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 the P52. Yeah, yeah P52. Thank yeah. you. From uh, from the uh, the P52 from uh, from uh, uh, the John Gospel. Yeah. 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 What, what language is that? It is in it is in 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 Greek. Now that's what I'm saying to you. It is very difficult for somebody to tell me that John, if he is the writer anyway, because we know that first John and second John and third John, they were not by him. And 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 anyway, it's a private conversation. What are you saying? Don't talk to him. Just leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Otherwise, it's going to continue. Just leave him. So, so Michael, is is is. So, 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 Michael. At the end of the day, look. As I'm saying to you, the four, the four, the four gospels. The four Gospels, yeah? yeah, they were in Greek, and we know that Greek was the language of the elite. Yeah, I'm not denying. I'm not denying. I'm not denying. You heard me what I said. I'm not denying that they were some because all the Jews that were around Jesus were apocalyptic Jews. They were waiting for the Messiah. Yeah. Okay, apocalyptic Jews that they don't believe in the resurrection of the soul. They only believe in the resurrection of the body. Apocalyptic Jews. Now, now these Jews you're talking about in there are Hellenistic Jews. Hence, you could see, you could see their their uh, their, their ignorance of the law. Yeah, but then how would people, how would these apostles understand how, how, to, how, they, how they look after them if they couldn't know what they were saying? Well, probably they spoke, probably they spoke a Hebrew. Yeah, but then they would also speak Greek as well. No, I, I told you that Jesus spoke Aramaic and Hebrew. Mm. You know that the Jews, the Jews, the Tanakh, the Tanakh or the Midrash or the, uh, or the uh, Pradesh, 
Do you know these? The Midrash. The Midrash is the Midrash is the, the oh, okay. The Midrash is uh, basically the uh, the, the um, commentary on the, the Bible according to the Bible, like what we do. Quran with Quran, you explain exegetes. The exegetes they would, they would make commentary mm. by on uh, now the, the that's the Midrash. Then the Pradesh is a little bit higher, and then you have got the Torah, the Tanakh. The Tanakh is you know it's an uh, 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 anagram. Uh, it's the Torah, Nabiyim, and Kutubim. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah? yeah, but what is it? I'm not into the name. No, but I'm, 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 I'm trying to teach you something and to the listener, to your viewers too, to, the, to your viewers, that the, these people, they only studied, they, they used to read the Torah, the Torah, the Tanakh, in, in Hebrew, in Hebrew. Oh God, no, no, but we said about Septuagint, though. That was done for the people yeah, but who... The Septuagint is only the five books. What is the Nabiim? What is the no. Nabiim? What is the Kutubim? No, no, Septuagint has, it it has all the, the prophets as well. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Are you really yeah. sure? Yeah. But check it out then. Mm -hmm. What's Septuagint? Yeah. It's the five books. No, no, every Septuagint that I look up here... No, 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 no. What is the Septuagint? The Septuagint that was translated in, in one night, that was the... That was the five books. Right. The five books. It was the Nabiim is not included in it. The Kutubim is not included to it. The prophets and the books are not are not, are not part of it. Okay, but but regardless of that, the fact that they put it into the into Greek, it wasn't just for the elite. It's because the, the common people had to come into the synagogue to read it. It's not that. It's not that. But because if you remember, if you remember, there was a big fight between Paul and Peter. Paul and Peter, which I like to call him Cephas, because that's his, uh, his uh, that's the name that Jesus, peace be upon him, gave him. Mm. Cephas, which is uh, which is uh, a uh, an Aramaic an Aramaic uh, word for uh, uh, stone, mm. which is exactly as like the sister language, which is Arabic, which is Safa. So yeah. Cephas, so that's and then they turned it into Pietras, Peter, and that, which is actually. I find it disgusting when people change other people's name from their original language. Like uh, Mr. Brown, in Arabic we say Bunni, Mr. Bunni. You don't do that, do you? Brown is brown in, any, in Farsi or any other language. Now, having said that, having said that, I'm telling you it's only the five books. And because in Alexandria, in Alexandria, let me go back to this, the point I was going to make. You know that Paul and Peter, they had a big, huge problem with them. And actually, in the Acts, according to the Acts of the Apostle uh, Peter, yeah, he yeah. speaks about his enemy. And his enemy is referring to Paul. That he was, he was, he was, he's referring to Paul. Because Paul used to, uh, he used to do, min uh, he used to do ministry to uh, ministry for the Gentiles. And you know that Peter and James, the, the alleged brother of uh, Jesus, they were, they were against, against, all they were against of the teaching of the, uh, the, the, um, uh, the evangelizing to the Gentiles. They, they, because because Paul was saying, uh, Paul, they wanted people to observe the, the law. Remember, Jesus says that I did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it, not a drop, not a pan strike will, uh, you know the, the verse I'm referring to. Yeah, but have you ever read Acts 15? I'm telling you what, I'm telling you what's happened between, between, uh, between, even Josephus uh, 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 talks yeah, about it. But, but have, you, have you ever read through Acts 15? I would love to hear what, uh, what he says. No, no, it's because of what you're saying about when uh, Peter, sorry, when Paul was out teaching, and when, when he came back with Barnabas, can we can we come a little bit here? Because this man is uh, subhanallah. Yeah. Michael, please come this way, yeah? please. But he was also uh, because he's kind of doing my. Uh, he was also Shamsi before, but huh? no, he's, he's just going mad. Yeah. No, but, but, but Michael, Michael, uh, yeah, go to uh, Acts 15, please. What you want to say? Yeah, because it's just the way you're saying about how uh, James and Peter are against Paul. But if you actually read what... Well, I know, so you, you, you've gone off of it, but I, I don't mind going to the Bible as well, because there's a point I'm trying to make in terms of... He's going to escape a bit from the, um, the old documents, but I'm getting back, I want to get back to it.
Um, so this is um, so this is, uh, so this is Acts 15 and 1. And it says, And certain men which came down from Judea told the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised, after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. When therefore Paul and Barnabas, Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other men of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this question. I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. Right, so, so what I just read there is that it was certain men who came down teaching about saying that the uh, people who were Christians now had to be circumcised after the manner of Moses. So Paul and Barnabas argued with them and then uh, they determined that they should go up to Jerusalem. Yes, to the, yes, the council. A council. They had yeah, a council yeah. in Jerusalem yeah. and Paul ended up being in jail. No, I see that. Yeah, yeah Paul ended up being in jail. No, I see, the, it's the, we talk about two different things. So, so, so let me read to you what yeah. the actual rumor yes. was. Yeah, and it's not a rumor, it's the truth. It's the truth. It wasn't a rumor. Mm -hmm. It was, it was Paul, Paul and Barnabas, they were, they, were, they, were, uh, they were preaching to the Gentile and to get the Gentile. And um, Barnabas, you remember, Barnabas had fallen out with Paul at the end and he went his own way. So, mm -hmm. so, so, so Paul was telling them, you do not have, you do not have to, to circumcise. You do not have to abstain from pork. You do not have to, so, every, so everything that the law, that the law states, the Midrash, the Pradesh, the Tanakh states, he was telling them not to follow it, but just become Christian, just follow Jesus. Now, now, poor Peter, Peter was against that. So was James. Do you want me to read what they actually happened? Yeah, I read, but I, I know this because I've studied it, so I know. No, but this text tells you what happened. So it says, uh, it says, let's start with, yeah, it says, Then all the multitudes kept silence and gave audience to Barnabas and Paul, declaring what miracles and wonders God had wrought among the Gentiles by them. And after they, after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Simeon, that's uh, Peter, has declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. And to this agree the words of the prophet, prophets, as it is written, after this I will return and build up uh, again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down, and I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up, that the residue of men might seek after the Lord, and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called, saith the Lord, who doeth all these things, Known unto God are all the works from the beginning of the world. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, but that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols, and from fornication, and from things strangled, and from blood. For Moses of old time hath in every city them that preach him being read in the synagogues every, Saturday, every Sabbath day. And then pleased it the apostles and elders with the whole church to send chosen men of their company to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas, surnamed Barsabbas, and Silas, chief men among the brethren. And they wrote letters by them after this manner. The apostles and elders and brethren sent greeting unto the brethren which are of the Gentiles in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia, for as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words subverting your soul, saying ye must be circumcised and keep the law to whom we gave no such commandments. You hear that? Who, who has got no such commandments? This is what James is saying. Uh, I'll read it again. If yeah, you want. yeah, read yeah, it yeah. again because it's. Uh, yeah, it says, yeah. for as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us. Have troubled which is you. meaning Paul, which is meaning Paul. No, the people Paul argued argue with. Yeah, no, but who was who was asking people for the who was asking people for the uh, who was asking people for the uh, for the for uh, for, for uh, circumc not to circumcise and not to do that. No, no he's, he was saying he was saying in relation to. The, but anyway, let me finish this. So I repeat this one again. It says, "For us, much as we have heard that certain which went out from us." have troubled you with words subverting your soul, saying, you must be circumcised and keep the law mm -hmm. to who we gave no such commandment. 
He seemed good unto us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul. Notice his beloved Barnabas yeah, yeah, and Paul. Yeah, yeah. No, just yeah. Men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have sent therefore Judas and Silas, who shall also tell you the same things by mouth. For it seemed good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things, that ye abstain from meat offered to idols, and from blood, and from things strangled, and from fornication, from which, if ye keep yourselves, ye shall do well. <laughs> Yeah, and so fear ye well. So, yeah. so that, that, but I'm, that, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that James, James in his in his ministry was was preaching, mm. was preaching actually that the uh, that the uh, that, that they shouldn't be that they should circumcise, they shouldn't eat pork yeah. and that, and that was why did I call Paul then back to, to tell him off? Why did I why did I why did I call him back? No, that was at the next council. So, yeah. so there was two. Yeah, so they so were th against what Paul was teaching, wasn't it? Well, you can go to Acts 21 for that one, if, if you want. No, no, I can tell you one thing, like three. If we go to Act, uh, for example, 222, yeah? Mm -hmm. And go to Act 222, please. Oh. Okay. I'm waiting. Forget about him. Alrighty. Uh, like always, go run it. You were here, and now you're over there. So you'd run. What color right? that TV? So again, I'm still waiting for you. So my question. Okay. So you know nothing, <laughs> and all you can do is stop people from learning it. Ask him what color would that TV? Ask him what color would that TV? So, yeah. You might ask 22. Yeah, please, yeah, read it. All right, it says, Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God, among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye you yourselves also know. That's it, that's it. Okay. No, this is the teaching of who? Of Peter. Yeah. Was Paul teaching this? Yeah. No. What did, you, what did Paul used to say? Well, if you tell me then. That. Mm -hmm. Paul, Paul used to say, the Father, the Son, Paul, uh, Paul used to teach a triadic, a triadic trinity. Uh, can you give me the verse? I really don't. No, no, no. I'm not trinitarian. Mm -mm. No, I know you are not. I know you are not. I know okay. that you are an uh, Israel, Israelite. Uh, well, not, not Hebrew Israel. Yeah. No, just, what are you then? No, really Christian, but yeah, I just, but what, you know denominations. Like if you ask me, are you Shia or Sunni? I say to you, I'm a Sunni. No, it's no, no, just, just say Seventh Day Church of God. Okay. So, but what I'm trying to tell you that the teaching of uh, the teaching of Peter mm. is different from the teaching of Paul okay. and that's that's why they they have this kind of uh, this kind of uh, it's in Acts 2 I just forgot the verse where, where he says that uh, where, where he was where he's written oh no actually it's not in the Acts it's uh, sorry sorry sorry, oh, sorry no, just because I don't want you to uh, that that that's all oh, sorry, they don't no, want you to uh, no, I think you mean Galatians, Galatians no, it's the letter no no it's the letters from Paul to uh, Zach to Hashem? No, no. You want some tea? No, no, you sure? No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm here and I'm. I'm so it's, it's. Uh, sorry, it's not. Uh, it's on in the canons. It's the letters uh, of uh, or, uh, Peter to James. There are certain uh, letters hmm. called the letters uh, of uh, Paul to, uh, Peter to James. It's in them, but they are not. Uh, they are not part. They, they don't make uh, part of the canons. Oh, what he okay. calls him uh, my enemy. I mean, this is this is a thing is known between the scholars in academia. It is known that Peter and Paul didn't see eye to eye. It is clear that Paul used to. That, that James and Peter wanted the people to go to the, uh, to the non-Gentiles and, and what's his name and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, Paul went to the Gentiles. It is a common thing, it is known. And I tell you what, Peter when they used to see Paul talking to the Gentiles, they used to go away and never join them and sit with them. When, th this is known amongst the uh, academic uh, scholars of, uh, of the New Testament. You yeah, know, Paul wasn't there. The, that incident you're talking about, where it's written in Galatians 2, uh, it happened before Paul came there. Paul then came there afterwards and then rebuked Peter. 
but it wasn't because but, Paul was there. No, no, no. But why, how, why did he rebuke him? Because no. they did not want to preach to the Gentile. No, no, he wasn't preaching. What happened is uh, Peter wouldn't sit with the Gentiles, with Gentiles when, yeah. when the Jews from James came down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but he still preached. No, not only to sit with them, to share food with them. Right, it was, they, they were going to eat, to share food with them. Yeah. But look, look, let's go back to our subject because I don't want us to... to my point being, my mm. point being mm. that, that in your tradition, you haven't got something like we have uh, regarding the, the uh, tradition of the Hadith and the tradition of the, uh, the, tradition of the Hadith and the tradition of the, uh, of, of the Sunnah. Yeah. But what you have got... I mean, if you tell me oral tradition, I can tell you oral tradition of, of Aramaic into Greek. It's not, it's not. Uh, because what you have got, you have got a Greek, a Greek one. I can give you, I'll tell you one thing. Did you know the Nazarenes? The one that went to um, uh, Pala? The one that escaped, they, 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 call, they called them the reminiscence of the, uh, of the Church of James. No, I... The Church of Jerusalem. Well, speak. they weren't the Ebionites. Ebionites. Oh, right. Okay, the Ebionites yeah, yeah. that they called heretics. Mm. But the Ebionites, they believed that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a man. Was a man that he was a prophet. Yeah. And and that he did not die. He did not resurrect. That he was a mere person that ascended to heaven. And the Nazarenes were of the same thing. Now. They, they made them to be heretics. It seems that anybody that does not preach the Trinity, like you just said to me, according to the Trinitarians, you are a heretic. Because Arian was a heretic, uh, uh, Justin Martyr was a heretic, all of these people were heretics. Yeah, but anyone, who, anyone, anyone a heretic if they want to. But if it, what we go by is what's written in the text, not by what someone's opinion is. Okay. Was it written in your text, that, uh, in the New Testament? Was it written that, uh, that Jesus, peace be upon him, is a prophet or not? Yeah, yeah. He said, well, he said, uh, he talked about himself. Well, what he said, in the, it was in the... He, he said a prophet is not um, something in his own town. No. So he did, he was talking as if they were treating him as a prophet. No, but he was a prophet because... Okay, I can give you the verses where he says that he's a prophet. No, no, because Uteron 18, he said that you send someone. So, yeah. yeah, so so we know that he's a prophet. Yeah. But but do you do you follow Jesus? Do you believe in Jesus as a prophet or not? Or as a son of God? Both. Well, how can he be both? No, I mean, like, when you say the son of God, yeah. you mean as a son or... As in, because remember, in the old in the old era, I mean in antiquities, mm -hmm. son of son of God and that it didn't mean exactly uh, the the actual son of God, the biological. You know, like God say, he, uh, like Jesus said to the uh, to the uh, to the Israelites, mm -hmm. doesn't it say in your in your Torah or in your scriptures yeah. that ye are children of God? Yeah. But so what? Is, is in that meaning? Or is he the son of God, like the word, the Logos? No, no the Logos, but he's the, the main thing is that, you know when, you, when people have sons? Yeah. It's always the first son that inherits, isn't it? But, you, but, but guess who is the first son according to the Bible? Who? Jacob. No, no, but that's, that's the no, word. So you that's see, we're we going, we, we going metaphorical. Why couldn't it be metaphorical for Jesus? Why is it but, metaphorical for Jacob and not metaphorical for Jesus? Because who I decides? Do, who decides? Do, at Jesus' baptism, it's the voice from heaven who decides. What? But doesn't it say, this day, this day, mm. this day. Mm. So before then, he wasn't. Because even to some, some scholars, some Christian scholars, they said, you know, there's a difference. Was he the son of God at his birth, mm. or when he was baptized, or when he resurrected? Which one? No, it's before. The three. Yeah, before. But why did it? Why did it say? Put in in in, uh, in Luke and uh, and in Matthew. Why did it say this day? This day. Mm -hmm. Meaning today. You became. Today you became. Not yeah. before. And why there is the difference between the 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 the, uh, the uh, academics in in uh, the, the Christendom uh, about uh, is it is it a birth is it uh, for, what was it the son from birth was it the son from uh, resurrection or was it the son from baptism 
You know, these things well, are, need answer. No, no, I say those academics are confused if they say How that. someone confused that, 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 that studied the Bible in all its kind of uh, grades and, and they because, know everything about it? And because Jesus said, I came down from heaven. So Jesus basically we said... All have come down, oh, we all have come down from heaven. You are, uh, came down from no, heaven, I came down from heaven, he came down from that's, heaven. That's speculation. No, it's not speculation. Look, when God created, mm. did he create everything or not? Yeah. So he created everything. He created he created the souls. The souls are in heaven. Now yeah, each time no. someone is going to come about to be no. born, the soul comes and that's, enters the womb. That's so it's no, not speculation. No, because you haven't been to heaven, have you? None of those scholars have well, been to heaven. Uh, well, neither you've been to heaven. Yes, so no one can say the souls came down from heaven. Well, uh, has Jesus been to heaven before his ministry? He came down from heaven. How did he come down from heaven? He came out from a womb. Yeah, but he said himself, so we go by his no, testimony. No, 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 I can't say to you it's metaphorical. What, him saying I came down from heaven? Yeah, it's metaphorical. How? What, the same the same way you say to me, Jacob is not the first son. It's metaphorical the same way I can't tell you that. Yeah, but this is Jesus' own words. Yeah, and so that was Jacob's own word. That's God's own yeah. word, actually. God's own word. Yeah. That you are my firstborn. Mm. So, so how? So you, you are ready, Michael. With all due respect, you are ready to throw God's saying under the bus, but not Jesus's. No, because when God said it that time, because this, this actually goes. Yeah, God said it at that time, and God meant, and God did mean the, my firstborn. Now you are ready to throw God's uh, words under the bus, but you mm. are, you are accepting what's His name's word. Jesus. Jesus's word, yeah. I mean, who is, who is higher? Is it God or Jesus? No, no, but that's no, 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 no. Who is higher than the other? Yeah, but you're the one who's trying to say no, that no, that's the I'm, case. No, no, I'm not, no. Who is higher than the other? God or Jesus? No, God is. God is. So why you are throwing God's, uh, God's word away and sticking to God's, to, to Jesus' words? No, but they're not against each other, are they? It, the, well, no. Actually, it, it actually it debunks your it debunks your idea about that Jesus was the first, uh, the, his first uh, born. When no. Allah, when when God Himself says that that uh, Jacob was his firstborn. Yeah, I think we're getting a bit confused here because obviously, even when God said he was his firstborn, obviously other people were alive then, so that means it had to be metaphorical. Okay, and what about Jesus? Well, weren't other people uh, born then? No, not when he created the world. Who created the world? Jesus or God? All right, do you, do you want me to read that for you? Yeah. All right. Who, who, who created no, the world? No, no, I might as well read it for you. So let's... Um, so, so going to go to Genesis, yeah? No, no, no. Hmm. John 1.1. 1, 1. Oh, John 1.1? 1, 1. Yeah. Oh, the prologue. You want to read the prologue? You want to read the prologue? Yeah. Okay, read the prologue then. Mm -hmm. Read the prologue. Jack is prolonging this. Yeah. I'm no, tired. I'm not. I'm uh, here. Uh, 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 no, 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 well, well, yeah. well, what the conclusion well, is, look, you know that our science is absolutely correct and, and it's been for centuries and we are the one that defined the weak, the hadith and that. And it, as I said, it doesn't matter even if it makes certain people criticize us. And I gave the example of the, the, the hadith of the fly. But what I'm saying to Michael, and you know this as well, you are a man of knowledge and you know it, that they cannot, the Christians, cannot and will never come to tell us that it was by oral tradition theirs, or they have got an oral tradition they can depend on. For example, let me take him to 1 John, 1 John 5, 7. Mm. And they are three in heaven and they shall, you know the one, 5, uh, five 7. Yeah, bear okay, yeah, bear yeah. witness. Uh, yeah. So that one is an interpolation because the Sinaiticus, uh, the Sinaiticus uh, Codex, mm -hmm. it wasn't in there. And it's the oldest manuscript. It's not the one that the King James Version is depending on. So that was even before the King James Version, the one that actually has been King James Version. It's the one that, uh, that uh, he, he, he was depending on the tra translation of Erasmus from the 17th century. 
Yeah, but you see, there, there is... But yeah, but what I'm trying to tell you, mm. if it's in the Vaticanus Codex and in Sinaiticus Codex, it is not in there. It is not in there. Okay. Why? Why is it still in the KGV? Why is it still there? It's an interpolation. And when there is interpolation of, of, uh, of verses, that gives me indication to be, to be alert that there are other things that are other than there. For example, the Trinity. For example, the deification of Jesus. For example, the resurrections of Jesus. For example, lots of different things. Michael, as uh, our beloved friend, the uh, gentleman here, mm. my friend, Big Nose, has said, it's mm. been a pleasure. We can continue this another time. Okay. And inshallah, uh, inshallah, also you. Uh, yeah, let him also give his yeah, 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 yeah. Time. And inshallah, uh, give your conclusion, also, inshallah, and uh, yeah, until oh. next time. All right. So, so the what I was really after was the. <laughs> yeah, that, like I said about the um, when it comes, because that's the reason why I mentioned about those uh, different councils. Yeah. So, it, it, what it sounds like is that at the. Now, you have an impressive sort of set of documentation in regards to Islam. But what I was really after was trying to find out how far back that impressive documentation goes and to see if it was consistent down through the yeah, years. Yeah. But we didn't seem to... Yeah. But no, no, we can't do, can do that next time. Yeah, we can't yeah, do that yeah. next time. It's yeah. not, it's not a bit, because it's not a problem that, like, as I said, I was, it's all in the manuscripts, it's all in the books, mm -hmm. yeah? You ask me about manuscripts. We well, have manuscripts, but you know. But now... No, we cannot have one manuscript and divide it into between people. So there is the printing and that. But we have the books, and actually we have people, scribes, that, that go through the books with a comb, kind of like finding any kind of... Uh, the, and guess what? They don't just change it. They will put it between brackets, for example, and then they say that is not in the original. For example, they would say this elif, elif is not on the original, or this whole word is not found in the original and that, which we call it tahqiq, muhaqqiqin. The people right. that people that will go through the test and a kind of like um, uh, uh, the uh, critiques of the of the text mm. the, they will critique they will critique the test and go to find out uh, if there is an interpolation or or maybe because you know before what used to happen and it happened to the Bible itself that yeah. the scribes will will copy and if a scribe is not has got, hasn't got good handwriting other people yeah, might misread it and, uh, yeah, yeah. and also some of the scribes what they used to happen they would find for example they would they, they would they would find a, a difficult word so they will explain the word give a synonym or something underneath it mm. hence the uh, reading between uh, the lines because they used to put it under the line and comes another scribe he would be thinking that is that is yeah, the yeah. explanation is part of the line and write it as it's uh, someone else's uh, writing hence the uh, the, 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 the saying, uh, reading between the, the lines. Yeah. So, so inshallah, next time, Michael, we will expand on that. Right. You know. Yeah. And uh, and uh, inshallah, yeah, it was it was a pleasure. Okay. Oh, one last thing. Yeah. Um, do you, you said about the program that they put those uh, the various hadiths yeah. through. Do you yeah. know what it's called? I'll, I'll, next week I'll have it for you. All right, I'll all have right. it for you because yeah, yeah. I just came across it uh, about a couple of weeks ago. I didn't, oh, okay. I didn't believe it. Right, right. I didn't believe it because I was researching some uh, something to do with the, the uh, Nazarenes, mm. the, the people that are left, uh, the, the descendants of the uh, of uh, James's uh, church, oh, the uh, the Jerusalem church, and that popped up okay. in one of the academia uh, uh, in, in the academia branches of uh, when I, where I do the research. Oh. So when I read it, I was wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the, the, there is there is something, and, and I'll bring it for you, inshallah, yeah. next time. Yeah. All right. Anyway, okay. listen, and uh, between me and you, it's gonna come. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, yeah. Michael. Okay, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Take yeah. the opportunity to mm -hmm. thank Sheikh. He's honoured us both of us. Uh, thank you. No, the honour is mine. The honour is mine. And I'd like to also mention that anybody wishes to talk to this Sheikh, which is rather humble, he must love. either be on level or higher than him. Otherwise, if you're below, you must listen, don't interrupt, because you. he's far more advanced than many people here. Thank you. I guarantee thank you. you that. Thank you. Thank However, you he has promised me my turn will come. In, 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 and he will time, honor remember, me as we well. said a good day, yes. and the honor will be mine. The okay. honor will be mine. Yeah. Thank you. Thank no, you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And okay. I appreciate also this. My Thanks time. very much. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Okay.
Israelites will return to take down Islam. Islam.